a little background on Sean McVay. He spent three years as the Washington football team's offensive coordinator under Jay Gruden from 2014 to 2016. In 2017, he was hired as the Los Angeles Rams head coach. He's coached 112 games as an offensive coordinator or a head coach. This video will look at his skill position players, running back, wide receiver, and tight end, to see if there's any tendencies that you can take advantage of from a fantasy football perspective. To start, we'll look at running backs. Over the course of Sean McVay's career, his running backs have averaged 22 0.34 carries per game, 97.16 rushing yards per game, 0 0.80 rushing touchdowns per game, 3.99 receptions per game, 5.41 targets per game, 37.26 receiving yards per game, and 0 0.21 receiving touchdowns per game. Looking at the stats, he's generally a little above average in the rushing stats for his running backs. With his carries, rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, all being slightly above the league averages in recent years. Through the air, the work hasn't been as plentiful with the Rams running backs only receiving 3.81 targets per game in 2019 and 4.44 targets per game in 2020. Both of these numbers are well below average and it makes you question uh, what kind of receiving upside Cam Akers and Daryl Henderson will have in 2021. If you're looking to invest in a Rams running back, you probably want to do so more in standard rather than PPR formats. Jumping to the wide receiver position, this is where Sean McVay has really thrived during his time. Over the course of the 112 games that Sean McVay has been an offensive coordinator or head coach, his wide receivers have averaged 13.76 receptions on 21.5 targets for 179.74 receiving yards and 0.96 receiving touchdowns per game. These numbers are all great. In recent years with the Rams as the head coach, he has seen his wide receiver room average at least 22 targets per game in each of the last three years from 2018 to 2020. If you're looking at investing in Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, or any of the other Rams receivers, it could be a good bet because you not only have a coach that knows how to get production out of the position, but also because of the quarterback upgrade that they've got from Jerry Goff to Matthew Stafford. Jumping to the tight end position, this is kind of where it gets interesting for Sean McVay. In Washington, before getting promoted to offensive coordinator, he was the tight ends coach there. So he's got a lot of experience with this position. Over the course of his entire career as an offensive coordinator or a head coach, Sean McVay's tight end room has averaged 5.59 receptions per game, 7.82 targets per game, 61.03 receiving yards per game, and 0.37 receiving touchdowns per game. The receptions, targets, and receiving yards totals are all above average, 
the receiving touchdowns is right around average, maybe slightly below average from what we'd expect from a tight end room based on the, the league averages the last few years. But overall, it's pretty good, especially looking at the last couple of years. In 2019, he threw to his tight ends for 9.75 targets per game, and in 2020, it was 7.88 targets per game. With Gerald Everett out of the way, Tyler Higby should see a majority of these targets and could be a bit of a sleeper in your fantasy league. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and to follow me on Twitter at 3 lie underscore handles. Thank you.